Let's get to that breaking news from overnight. One man dead after Pinellas County deputies say he came out with a gun after a domestic violence call. Want to get right out to ABC Action News anchor Vanessa Ariza live at the sheriff's office this morning. Vanessa, the chief uh, just wrapped up a news conference. Uh, what did you find out? Good morning to you, Dia and James. He says that this altercation began around 930 last night. They say the suspect in this case, who has yet to be identified at this point in time, abused a woman and her young child. Now, authorities say it is thanks to that woman's ring doorbell that they were able to actually see with their own eyes what exactly took place. Deputies say the suspect left the woman's home and headed to his own. As they approached his house, the chief says, based on the video that they had already seen, they were working working to devise a plan to talk the man out of his house. But during that time, the chief says he actually came out with a gun and got into his car. Deputies told him to drop it and then fired shots. The suspect was hit and died in his vehicle. Now, during the press conference, just within the past 30 minutes, the chief said that the suspect made an odd comment to the woman last night. Take a listen. Also told his ex-girlfriend that this may be the last night that you see me. So whether he was planning on committing uh, suicide or whatever, uh, but he did tell her that after he had uh, already got involved with an altercation with her and with her child. Now, no law enforcement officers were hurt during this incident. The state attorney's office will also be taking a piece of this case to investigate. It also is important to note that the chief said during his press conference that suspect had a court order from 2018 not to have any weapons in his possession. Live in Pinellas County this morning, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News. Thank